I think today we need to talk about that video of you riding a whale. <laughs> yeah, man. Feel free. Ask away, dude. It was a surreal experience. Um, you know, it wasn't, you know, when I got in the water, I didn't really, you know, uh, anticipate what was going to happen. You know, I didn't really think it through. Basically, the, the whale was, was surfacing next to our boat. Yeah. And you could just see its back. And I wanted to get a better look at it. And I'm a, I'm a very avid spear fisherman. So I had my gear on the boat. So I was like, fuck it. I want to get in the water and, and take a look at how big this animal is. I mean, we're talking about a 60 foot animal. And we're not talking about from afar. We're talking about this thing's 20 yards from the boat, you know, close enough to where we we're concerned where the whale might flip the boat over. So where were you guys at? Uh, we were like 100 miles off the, off the coast of California. Okay. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I was like, all right, fuck it, get my dive gear. I jumped off the boat into the water, and I'm watching the whale, you know, from from uh, from from not afar, but far enough, you know, 20, 30 yards. And uh, next thing, I, when I popped my head up, I was looking for the boat, but the 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 uh, tide was pretty, the current was pretty uh, pushing us, so mm-hmm. I was kind of far from the boat. And next thing I know, the whale is getting closer and closer, and I didn't want to, I don't know, man. I, I mean, what do you do when you see this 60 foot animal coming close to you? <laughs> and uh, next thing I know, the whale goes under and now I'm, and I'm looking for it in the, you know, I'm looking under the water and I can see it and it's like right next to me. I'm like, holy shit. And I get up and I start yelling for the boat. But again, I didn't want to, you know, splash around and mm-hmm. dude, I don't fucking know if there's sharks in the area or what. So I didn't want to look like I was in a panic, but my, you know, my buddy's trying to get close to me with the boat. Next thing I know, the whale is like right there next to me. And I'm like, holy shit. And a wave kind of pushes me and I bump into the whale and I didn't want to piss it off or startle it. So you'll see in the video where I kind of drape my arm over its back. And it, when I put my arm over its back to kind of hold me close, because again, I didn't want to bump into it and have mm-hmm. this thing freak out. And then it goes down. Like as soon as I put my arm around it, the whale drops down like, I don't know, two or three feet. And it like positions himself right in between my legs. And then he surfaces again. So, you know, it's my theory is that this whale, this mammal, since that I was, you know, distressed and came and potentially thought it might've been saving my life. And, uh, which I just think is like when animals aren't like people, like if you and I are are out and I see you drowning, I'm going to jump in the water and I'm going to try and save you. You don't expect animals to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So whether that was the intent of the animal or not. I believe it was. And uh, it was just a surreal fucking once in a lifetime experience, man. Like, not, it, it's, and it wasn't like it's my pet. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> if, if a dolphin trainer is drowning in the water and it's Wait, Justin, you're, you're saying that you don't have a pet dolphin. Can we confirm that right now? Uh, well, I will not confirm or deny that. Uh, but as for now, I, I do not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, dude, but seriously, like, even if it was like a pet, you know, like you see dogs that'll grab the rope and, you know, you're in a boat or on a raft, the dog will grab the rope and try and swim you to shore. Well, that's your pet. They're saving you for a reason. They're saving you because you provide them shelter, you provide them protection, you provide Mm -hmm. them food. Dude, this whale is just a fucking (laughs) random 60 foot whale. And, you know, to the best of my knowledge, you know, and and it appears in the video and appeared to me that, you know, again, this motherfucker might've been trying to save my life, which... Hey, what's up, Carl? Yeah, uh, this thing might have been trying to save my life, which to me is just for an animal. And again, it might have not been that. Maybe it was just coincidence. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I believe, I, you know, I like to think and I like to believe that this this animal is trying to save my life. And it's just, man, it, it, it melts my heart. And it was just to think of another animal, a mammal besides humans that has empathy and think, you know, I've heard stories of, of dolphins uh, saving people from sharks. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, that whale might've just thought I was in distress and came to help me out. And I think that's just so fucking awesome and surreal, man.